Yo, people, back again with another video. This one is going to be almost strictly about education. There are two forms where I said it in another video, but it's going to be more advanced out there. It's not going to be like advanced, but it's going to be more than that. Just book knowledge and hand on knowledge. And then went in both of those categories, there's the ability to apply the knowledge as somebody else wants you to apply it. While well, we're in the boundaries of what they consider their level or the standard level or the required level. And then there's the other uh, knowledge where you Apply to everyday use literally oh, Let me eat this cookie Anyway mm. 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 Anyway Then based on those two how well or efficiency are you in those two? If you are any one of the top two girls where it's book or hands on and then somebody else choose or your own use, you can't even do it based on their standards or your own standards of their standards or your own standards of your standards, then you need to do something. Me, if you can apply that knowledge to that area you can go be above that level what you understand and you can apply that as well as everyday use or any time of use or any environment or any situational use then you are highly smart now there's IQ smart which I don't know why people go for like ASVAL which is military standard SAT ACT College standards, the standard IQ test, the uh, global awards, whatever. If you cannot apply that knowledge and go beyond that level and then use it at any of it, any situation where it's beneficial to you or those around you who you agree to be beneficial for, then you you shouldn't be saying you're smarter than somebody else. I don't believe in the knowledge that the standards of way do things like it's just a universal code for everything, make it easy to understand to everybody on standards, do it that way. Then you come out with something new. Then you have to go through it, re educate everybody out there that knows it about that code. But there's a problem with that. You either make your employees pay for it on their own because of you, or you pay for it, but you only have a limited amount of people that can get that knowledge. Now, those who didn't get the knowledge, no longer able to do what they always has been done, they always has been doing, even though they can keep up with their love and you just need to say a few things. You're not a good business person and that form of knowledge or that form of education is not good. They should be staying said this is the basic of if you want to do it, but there never should be nothing which people say they just want a minute. So you should do it. You can take anesthesia for effect. Based on that medication that slows the heart rate down and keep that person in a unconscious state and then you have to know the amount based on that person to make sure they don't die and then you have to do the math of that with the painkillers to know once you apply a person who already rate is slowed down, you have to make sure they don't feel the pain when you do a surgery or decrease the amount of pain 
to not where they won't shock go into shock there is a set standard for that but the fact that there are cases where even with following the standards that person is in that category that person is in exact same weight several hundred pounds overweighted hot cholesterol is like 500 just like everybody else in that area you end up killing that person or people who did surgery in the kind of place because they try to compare that standard to the everybody else that's what I'm on that's what I said everything if one person is who is exactly so similar to them or in the idea of your understanding what is the standard the fact that that happens means you need to do your re-education not uh, take another example uh, same core same year same make same procedure but one of them broke down the same day you got it no one was messing with it it was just broke down minus that first one you got bad luck or whoever bought that car got bad luck she he it whoever secondly the fact that that car broke down and that car didn't means somebody in that manufacturer process that was monitoring that didn't monitor that exact stress level or the capability of that vehicle but if they did and they go and buy the standard and it's matched the one that didn't break down is a more equations you need to do saying the standard of education and knowledge or when you can apply the knowledge and educate someone else it become wisdom now you should be able to apply your knowledge to your everyday use you can make sixty dollars an hour fixing other people cars you can have a Ford you fix a Ford at that person car but you can't fix your own Ford there is a problem with that I heard people excuse and say I don't want to take the chance of ruining my car so you take a chance of ruining somebody else car do you not have that much faith in your own skill level the fact that your employee know your employer knows this why are you even hired who knows or you does stuff that because people consider it illegal which I don't condone and you have someone else who is doing the same thing but it's way better than you it's like this these are your exact opposite when I say opposite they're exactly like you they're just a different person they're different looks and they're doing better than you than you are not doing what you should be doing the standard well well it is it's the standard what you should be worrying about is to be able to apply to a beneficial people we have problems now as well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say too much about because Madison where bacteria viruses has developed to the penicillin over the years and decade people claim that people's penicillin has been improving over time you fighting the same class of bacteria but somehow a basic bacteria is hard to me just <laughs> the basic bacteria is keeping up with the more advanced form of antibiotics it's mean you are the age you know bacteria or viruses could do that or you did know and did not tell sometimes in the future that, that bacteria or virus will develop a immunity to the antibiotics standard people why would you go by it like why would you not, not go by it? 
why were you forced yourself to stay in that range of things in a form of knowledge or want to get knowledge or apply it on um, this easy I don't know how people are not figuring it out if you want to make something that does the battery does not develop to not at least for a while then you need to change something about the antibiotics but if oh no we're gonna die of various bacteria there's nothing we can do nobody saying they working on it nobody telling you that the unlimited combinations out there that can fight a bacteria nobody is saying that nobody knows it maybe nobody wants you to know maybe they do know and they just don't care Applyable knowledge. Penicillin, the one, the standard, the known standard, or they want you to know standard, is simply a form of mold that's been mixed with other ingredients. Let's call it ingredients. It's, it's more, it's more bacon than science. Let's call it that. Um, and the ingredient produced penicillin, you should be obvious to know to find something else that has that's not produced by that yeast or the way you produce that yeast. Change everything up about it and make that way has the the same desired effect, the same desired attributes, but it's made differently and have different properties of it that led to that same point. Or better, now, guess what? Bacteria won't develop to Not until another hundred years. But nobody won't do that. See, there's a difference. Easy. Applyable knowledge. Everybody else turned or not. Not that difficult, people. Same thing to... Uh, I'm going to get this medicine. Anyway. Video. Education. Have fun.